Now, Doris Day approaches. Let's go to Thomas Schaffernacker, who has the latest on that storm. Yes, you're very right, Simon. Doris is approaching, and it will strike during the day. Uh, so let's see what's happening then over the next uh, 24 hours or so. Well, basically, this ribbon of cloud here is very menacing on the satellite pictures. Now we're starting to see uh, some of these clouds rotate here. That's a surefire sign that there's a powerful storm developing here. See, this is a sort of wave. And this is what's going to be happening within the next 12 hours or so. And the problem is that this storm is intensifying just as it's slicing the UK in half. So this will be a pretty nice one. There's a couple of things with this there's snow and wind so we'll take a look at those in detail here's a look at the weather through this evening so this is the outer edge of uh, storm doris we've got the rain coming in the winds will be freshening then they'll become stronger and stronger but the worst of the storm won't be until it actually starts impacting northwestern parts of england wales and then eventually moving a little bit further east so the first problem number one snow across southern and central parts of scotland this is through the course of tonight into tomorrow morning the suburbs of edinburgh for example and glasgow and getting some snow snow up to these amounts through the southern upland so that's mostly the hills some of us across scotland could well be waking up to scenes like this first thing and then after the snow that's when the storm really starts winding itself up and that's where those severe gales start blasting through northwestern england liverpool bay northern wales through the north midlands midlands into east anglia uh, as well so the real problem then through the morning to around towards lunchtime will be the wind and we're going to see a swathe of a few hours a very powerful winds capable of causing damage and disruption from northern wales again liverpool bay manchester nottingham down into east anglia as well and south of that the winds are less strong but still causing a problem i think all the way down towards the south coast so certainly strong enough gusts to cause problems like these high-sided vehicles potential of overturning some of us might have some fences down this was probably worst case scenario overtoppling for example of the uh, the chimneys but that will be um few and far between hopefully and then by the second half of the afternoon tomorrow that storm starts to pull out into the North Sea, eventually affecting probably places like uh, the Netherlands. And then finally the winds will calm down. And then Friday morning looks as though it's going to be the uh, pickup operation with all the bits and pieces lying around after the storm. But a much, much better day. But look at that, some rain sweeping in, this time not really gales. So we've got, uh, yeah, quite a rough 24 hours uh, on the way. Take care. This is BBC News. I'm Simon McCoy. The headlines at four. The fiance.